So today I'm going to discuss a list code problem 1031. Maximum sum of two non-overlapping surveys. The problem statement is like that. Given an integer an array nums and two integers first line and second line, return the maximum number uh, maximum sum of elements in two non-overlapping subarrays with lengths first line and second line. The array with length first line could occur or after the array with length second line but they have to be non-overlapping. So let us consider an example to understand the problem basically. So this is an array right. This is an array. So my first line is 3 and second line is 2. So what you gonna do is I mean what you have to do is we gotta find a subarray of lane 3 and also we have to find a subarray of lane 2 we will get a sum from that subarray of lane 3 also we will uh, have a sum of uh, subarray of length 2 we gotta add we, uh, we gotta add them and that should be our answer but we gotta find uh, basically maximum all there are a lot of possibilities we gotta find a maximum among them so uh, talking about the approach say we have consider this window right because the first line is 3 so we will have in a window of 3 as we mean so this window will give us 12 as a sign and we gotta find a sub array of length 2 that will be uh, basically that will give us a maximum sum so we will get 17 from 8 and 9 right we will get 17 from there and the answer would be 29 adding these two right so there is a answer variable our let's say that is now having 29 uh, 29 yeah Okay. What a headache. So now just move a window. So now this is a currently window, right? This is the current window of us. Now this will also give us twelve. Look, the sub array of second length can occur before the window, also after the window but the length is 2 an element before the window is only 1 so basically it is not capable of giving us the answer right so we will be looking at a, a right and from right we will get again 17 so the sum will be 29 and answer is already, uh, already 29 so there will be any change it will remain 29 right no issue with that now if we are our uh, window by one again now this is our current window this window will give six as a sum now there is a possibility that before the window we can have our answer and after the window uh, we can have our answer right answer means uh, sum 2 of basically the sub array of length 2 sum so before the window we will be getting 11 as a sum from after the window we will be get having 17 now the sum is 23 but our answer is 29 right still so we will be maintaining always a maximum value in the answer so basically we won't change the answer it will stay as it is so again we will be moving one window then one then one this is how uh, basically uh, the problem will be uh, solved talking about the implementation uh, uh, 
let us dive into code directly right so I'm gonna uh, basically implement in Dart but you can basically implement in C++ because uh, syntax are pretty same as Dart right so let us first have a variable answer answer and uh, variable left variable right I have sum right while right is less than num dot length our sum will be nums of r and this is basically uh, now if our window basically uh, if the r now r comes into the range of our window then we are gonna uh, pick the answer right we have to pick the answer so how we gonna get uh, how we'll do that if our r minus l plus one that is equals to equals to first length right so we have caught we have got right if I just take this window so we have got 12 now we gotta find 17 from the very of the array right so in the rest sum we gotta find rest sum let us uh, find so uh, find with sum let us make again a function that will run uh, our rich sum list of int nums into x and y and n pass them terms l r and second line. so the, uh, we have what, what, uh, what we have to do this look let us consider this window right our second lane can before uh, second uh, second the uh, sub array can occur before the window and after the window but but not in the window right so we are gonna basically fixing a range 2 to 4 is not allowed right 2 to 4 the is not allowed so same thing we're doing here by uh, doing here we are passing a left point a left and a left pointer and a right pointer and uh, just x and y right we are just basically maintaining a range that if the uh, if our r comes uh, basically if an iterator that you want to have uh, in future in the code of course uh, that is, uh, comes in the range of x and y we will move we, will, we won't do anything rather we will basically uh, discard the window right so again answer in left and r in sum while r is less than nums dot length and if our r comes in the range of x and y we will simply 
move uh, both the pointers because we have to discard the entire window right and make the sum zero and by doing this if our r comes to an end of the array we will simply return so we are not going we are not going to have any answer right if our r basically nums dot length break either way sum plus equals nums of r right and if i find a window of length second length that is basically length plus one equals equals length add it to our answer max of answer and sum move the left pointer arms of L and finally return uh, sorry uh, increment right pointer pretty done right return answer so we are now basically we have raised some that's for sure now the answer answer should be what max of my current answer or the sum and the weight sum then of course we have to move our window sum minus nums of l that is left here and move the left pointer by one and after done doing this just increment simply the right pointer and return answer after this we are pretty done let us run let's see any error out there or not something is sum of r okay that, sh that should be right anything else looks fine okay okay that should be right again oh my gosh this should be left Right, left, right. Okay, accept it. Let's submit. Wrong answer. L equals R because thing is right suppose this window we have uh, considered as an example make it clear make it clear okay this window our R comes here our car, car first the left is here the right R is here R comes here we got a window we got 11 then R comes here right but this is a this is basically in the range r comes in the range of x and y so if i move r so this totally this window has to be discarded so we gotta basically we gotta uh, move our left pointer and also the right uh, right pointer isn't this right uh, sorry your left will be here pretty mistake l and r 
right so this is the thing now I guess looks uh, looks fine yeah submit it so thanks for watching